hello again. Man, it's crazy how fast time moves when you're like pressed for it. Cause I feel like I got up to go to the bathroom and I was like, well, I gotta stream again already. <laughs> I didn't even get to do anything. <laughs> Try to make it good again. Piece of game show gets never good though. Last year, it was pretty good, decent, I would say. Um, the thing is, I, I temper expectations more for these like B tier shows as opposed to like you know, Microsoft or full on summer games. Wow, it feels like a day has passed in the last stream. Yeah, you guys are getting spoiled today. Huh? Hello, Hunter, on the stream. Are there any expectations? I, I, I we didn't see the um. Fucking what? What was it? The, the, the the Bond game, <laughs> Goldeneye. Thank you, myself. Uh, we didn't see the Goldeneye. Maybe we'll see it here. Uh, apparently, there's a few announcements being talked about. Who fucking knows? Uh, I know Team Fortress is on the fucking header for this, so maybe we're gonna see some Team Fortress. But I don't. <laughs> They're just gonna be like, ah, we fixed the game, like you guys asked. I don't know. It's one personality. What the fuck? Why are they showing? Uh, what is this? You guys missed some racially motivated imagery. I feel I feel uncomfortable. I didn't. Like, I feel like I shouldn't even putting this on yet. I have I don't know who this man is. You probably stole it, 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 Blizzard stuff was on the screen. He's probably a breast milk connoisseur. I don't know. Maybe he like, you know how they have like wine tasters? Maybe Blizzard has like breast milk tasters. That's the girl? I don't fucking know. Video games. But yeah, we got seven minutes. Seven minutes. Pre-show is never good. I like when there's just a generic like waiting screen. How much NTR out of 10? That was the dirtiest fucking doujin I've ever seen. It, it wasn't just the persona thing, but it was like, oh yeah, I took your boyfriend, right? Like, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> like Sony's like main guy who they show for everything, Mr. Kojima. Oh wow, that's look at these look at these dance moves. There's some twerk action going on. I can't believe she's missing it. <laughs> it's fair to play with you. Octogray, thank you again for the three dollars. Two streams in a day. Nice. Seems good. <laughs> yeah, you guys are getting spilled tonight. You better be grateful. I don't know if I can say the same for like the games we're about to see though, so... <laughs> we'll find out shortly. I do recall there being nice games on that show though, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like for like the PC game showcase and like, again, future games, I usually expect less. Because they're just like generic showcases, they're not like the big companies. Um, so as long as they do okay, it's fine. Uh, so I, I'm just if this can do as good as future games, I think that I think I think I'll give it a pass. Um, Microsoft was really weird. Microsoft Bethesda was really weird because like that entire show, up until the ending, was really bad. Like I, again, I was falling asleep. I was already tired, and I was like kind of like my eyes were glazing over. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, but then the end, like again, Phil walked out on stage, stance. I felt the aura instantly, and then he just cucked. <laughs> he just cucked Sony. <laughs> um, the only thing that's disappointing about it is Persona 3 portable on Game Pass. Like, why? Uh, Resolution-wise and everything, like, it's a PSP game. I would much rather see Fez. Like, a, a million times more than I want to see Persona 3 portable. So that that's the only thing that kind of disappointed me about that ending. It's a very weird choice. I still no salty about Persona on any other platforms I have. I mean, everything's on PC now, basically. Even if you're not a Game Pass person like myself, it's going to be ripped. So, I mean... <laughs> uh, once things are on PC, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's any complaint, and that shit's carrying into the future. Uh, the Persona games will be uh, supervised uh, by the Theory local loot? Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, like, going forward, the Persona games will be supervised by the... That theory local localizer <laughs> on that trap manga at the back of recently, no joke. Okay, so you're talking about you're talking about Big Brooder Girl. 
or what's her name? Katrina. She has me blocked. Cause she Katrina blocks literally anyone who speaks a lick of Japanese. This is no joke. If you don't suck their fucking metaphorical cocks, they will block you. Because they, they like to stay in the bubble of like anyone who criticizes me doesn't know Japanese, so if you break that narrative, kick you right out. I'm localizing! But yeah, no, that series is probably fucking ruined. Do you think Persona 3 Portable and Persona 5 R will be on Steam? I hope so. I hope they get ported natively. I think we'll probably have other opportunities to get them, if not, but I like I would buy them. I I really want Persona. I want to play through Persona 5 R so bad, <laughs> like, but I don't want to, to fucking oh, boot up my PS4, or PS5, whatever the fuck it's on. It's, it's on PS4. Who am I kidding? Nothing's on the PS5 exclusively. <laughs> um, I just don't want to, so I would love to have it up. I think they'll change the SS romance into Persona 3 Portable. I I don't think so. I think I think it's probably gonna get a fine pass. Cause I, I I legitimately do not think Atlas would put in enough work to take it out. Um But I think the, the thing that who said it? Pon uh Punk so I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just call you punk? I'm gonna say punk for now. I think that punk said like where um it has Katrina working on it. That worries me. Cause like she didn't, she didn't even block. She actually only blocked me yesterday because I ratioed seven C's. You know the company that did the um, shitty localization for that one manga uh, that I've been talking about recently, where it was like a cross-dressing boy loves thing, and they made it into a trans girl, even though it is like super evidently like. Again, I don't. I'm not fluent in Japanese, but I know enough, right? Like I know these words. I can understand it. Um, and I feel like even if you didn't, like if you have just a very basic understanding of Japanese, like super basic, um, you could tell because you know shit like Boko. Um, Why is he a local agency? Local agency supervisor is like theoretically someone who just keeps the text consistent. It's theoretically, it's theoretically not a bad job. It's just these people are awful human beings. They're the fucking scum of the earth. They can't accomplish anything in their life, so they make it their life goal to be like, no, I made this, not you. You know? Again, anyone who actually knows Japanese like super fluently um, and cares about Japanese and the material is not working in anime. They're getting a higher paycheck working in some other field. Uh, whether it's law, translation, um, you know, for more important things that aren't strictly entertainment. Even video games, um, obviously pay more. Anime, manga, that's like the lowest, lowest point. So you get the fucking scraps. Isn't it already localized? Oh wait, you're not saying that she's like the localizer going forward in the series? She's like a localizer on Persona 3 Portable? Oh, okay, wait, this, sorry, I think I misunderstood. This might change everything I just said. God, what the fuck? I, they use an alt to go... Well, I, actually, I can... Hold on. Get ready because the 2022 PC Gaming Show kicks off in just a few moments, and we got dozens of new games, trailers, exclusive interviews, which means. So I didn't have a local. Okay, no, so shit. All right, sorry. I completely misunderstood. I thought you. I I didn't realize she was. Why 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 does this why does Persona 3 Portable need a localization supervisor? It's done. Dude, I hate this fucking industry. It's so incestuous and like obviously everything has nepotism. But holy fuck. These people don't even the, these people don't even fucking speak Japanese well. It's stupid as hell. Yeah, no, I'm sorry for misunderstanding, first of all. 
But yeah, no, fuck that. It's over, dude. So are they getting retranslated? I don't understand. Why would that happen? Hey everyone, welcome to the PC Gaming Show 2022. I'm Day9 Still, one of your hosts, joined again by the amazing Mika Burton. Hi. While we may look like elaborate Unreal Engine renders, we are here in the flesh, as is the hardware, bringing you the best and brightest All right. of the PC games. I don't think there's much I can say on that, because I have no idea why that this one needed a cord and I to begin with. I fucking hate localizers, dude. Well, the good news is, uh, we're already talking about how it's going to be ripped off of Game Pass, and you don't have to pay for it. So, uh, not paying for this shit, if you put this girl's name on it. Uh, there's another, there's a video I'm doing soon, um, that's going to include her in it. Um, not gonna lie, I like these people's fucking gimmick presentations better than Devolver at this point. Um, yeah, no, we're gonna talk about her soon, don't you fucking worry. Well, he's dead. We melted him down to try to make our own graphics cards since they're still hard to find and... I, our incestuous people see the flapjack family tree chart and think it's a good thing. Yeah, no, that's awful. Uh, I agree. I, I agree. Like, that's not wrong in the si in the slightest. But, like... <laughs> I mean, I guess it's because this is something I care about more. Maybe that's why it seems worse. But I feel like these people aren't even qualified in a lot of cases. Imagine if, if people go, uh, if folk guys go back and update Persona 4 without people knowing. Oh, dude, I was about to say, and they try to make Nato trans. Yeah. That's also in the video I'm talking about. It's gonna be a fun one. I already tell, uh, Twitter types are gonna be very upset. Cute girl. Alright, I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Modus Games. Never heard of it. Oh! Girl with big sword! <laughs> this is what I'm waiting for! <laughs> uh, she's not that tiny though, so not not quite there, but good. I like edgy girl. She looks edgy, right? Like I, I can I can dig that. This is a good start. I would like to see gameplay, but like, you know, I'm already on board, bro. Like, yo, Titty! Sexy horror beyond my comprehension. Oh, I love this art. That dude looks cool. Like, I like all the designs in this so far. I'll lower this a little bit. Man, what a... Oh, I love me some demon transformation. Pull that fucking devil trigger, baby. Solstice? Okay, uh, good, good stuff, good. You got me in immediately. Don't see that, don't, don't, have not seen that with any other confidence, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wait, that game is not coming to PS4? It is, however, coming to PC. Maybe one day PS5 will get a game. But early PC demo. That's cool. I hate when P PC, I feel like PC gets gypped more often than not. Because like even when they do these demos, it's usually not including PC. So that's cool. Is this the not don't starve together? I don't think it is. I think it's another game, but with the same style. Not cast crashers. Rotwood. That looks fine. Yeah. Again, if you if you show me something I don't really care for, it's like real quick. I'm like, okay, that's fine. <sighs> I'm 
gunpoint eats him. Ah, uh, Clay made Don't Starve and then they made this. Oh, okay. Well. There's another game that, like, had the same mechanically as Don't Starve, but I guess the aesthetic really sold me out. Tactical wizardry. <laughs> I was looking away, so I didn't get a good look at the designs until like that. So it's with the Harry Potter with guns and ran with it. Yeah, and ironically, like, again, I'm not like an XCOM type type of whatever you would call these games, but like <laughs> Wizards with guns, like, eh. like that's cool. You just saw Tactical Breach Wizards, a turn-based game of sorcery and SWAT team strategy from the makers of Gunpoint and Heat Signature. My strategy, personally, is very simple. Breach, Please don't talk bang, too much. Clear magic missile, dramatic That's flourish, it. Cut it abra, down. Well, cadaver. Get yeah. it? Cadaver, dead body. Next, we have a solution to the age-old problem of not having time to read and play video games. Just do both at the same time, obviously. Star Wars Industries has you covered with their sci-fi thriller inspired by Stanislaw Lem's novel, The Invincible. So here's your first look at the first ever gameplay footage. Sorry, I, <laughs> I zoned her right out. I also saw an image on Twitter that is just fucking awful and I feel like I shouldn't even post it. You, what have you done? It's like awful for a variety of reasons. Right, what is this? Me? You came here yourself, so what are you expecting? Huh? Ah, we're seeing more Starfield, I see. Greg, thank you for the dollar. Uh, the Solstice looked like the game developer is a fan of Claymore. Oh, like the anime, right? Is that a, that's a, that's an anime with sword, a woman with big sword, right, Claymore? I'm typing click. Okay, it's also a manga. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. I, I'm looking at like the heroine's face. Very similar hair design, as well. Totally see where you're coming from. She confirmed this is a movie game. Oh shit. Well, I I feel like as like a expert gamer, I like could tell immediately. <laughs> my my body just. Repulsed immediately, and I didn't hear a word she said. Anyway, the reason I didn't want to show it, or I'm going to, but... It's stupid because, like, the Western game industry is shit, and then... This is a perfect example of why. Um... I was trying to shit on like YouTubers like Japanese games, but furthermore, there's another layer to this in that like Nearly every person in this top right that they've mentioned all have dog shit opinions. Max is cool. I have butter buns, sorry <laughs> But like most of these are fucking dog shit. All bad opinions anyway. This is the worst representation I could ask for <laughs> There are a million better YouTubers who cover Japanese games. Um, more thoroughly and better games at the time as well. So that's like dog shit on two levels. Don't know any of these six. Must be nice. Well, Maximilian Dude's really cool. Like, I straight up would recommend Maximilian Those YouTubers hurt. Yeah, I feel like you're on the same boat. I didn't let that thought get to me. I was counting on these meeting very much. Half of them are generic, like. It could have been another you could read like a, a Kotaku article like and get the same fucking information. Not exactly. You know what I mean? That's a good question. Man, I want to. Solstice looked really cool. The one of them, one of them was Clemson on there. Uh, I don't, I don't know all the names off the top of my head. 
But again, um, Max is the only one in there I would say I genuinely really like. Season only has one good video. One? That's like a hundred times more than I thought. <laughs> how do you get? How do you get from one to? Or how do you get to one from zero? I'm looking at it now. They pierced a hole several meters in diameter and several dozen meters long. Um, so smug with this meme, but it's like maybe there's a reason people like the Japanese games or the West ones. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, my thing with Western games is like even a, yes. even if you kind of like some of this shit, I feel like, like you have to have your head in the ground. Um, Can you continue? To like. Yes. The, the problem with a lot of Westward stuff is like it's very homogenized. It's very committee driven. Plus one. There's nothing here that I haven't seen before. Um, there are a lot of metal bushes. But, but yeah, the like with Japanese stuff, like the there's a lot more variety, I feel. How to put it. Feels things feel a lot more director driven. You know what I mean? Instead of committee. Not always. So I mean those still exist. But I think there's a, a clear reason Japanese games stick out more. Same with manga and media and other stuff. You can always tell when a game is a fucking snooze fest when I'm talking about something completely... I guess not irrelevant, but like nowhere close to the topic of this game. I like western indie games. Yeah, and I mean, part of that is because it avoids the homogenization, right? A lot of indie games are someone's like... You know, their, 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 their passion project. Um, I feel like people do over overhype any games sometimes because I think there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of drudge to like swim through or whatever. Um, but I, but I do think you're like you're gonna find something for you in the indie scene, right? Like one game I'm really looking forward to right now. Um, I bring it up a lot is like, uh, was it Zodiac Zero? I was gonna say it. Uh, X Zodiac. No, I thought it was Zero was in it. I was thinking of Star Fox Zero. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking for X Zodiac because, like, um, I love the the low polygonal art style. I really genuinely like Star Fox games. It's just a shame Nintendo can't make a good one. Take care of our people, Novik. Hollow Knight, yeah. That's what I'm saying. A lot of it, 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 it avoids the trapping that the big industry the falls into. Dungeon to prove that chivalry isn't dead. And if you think I am play Senran and Kagura, I love Senran. I love Senran so much. Uh, on Onichibara. Um, I played one of those on the PS4. It was alright. Sega. I heard a Sega. Nah, you don't have what it takes. Alright, I'm back in. Back what is this? You're too scared to try again. Cause the dungeon will turn you into lunch meat. Unless you're way tougher than you look. We got the what, it, what actually what is this? I really don't know. The turrets. The upgrades. But what you really need is guts and skills. Grab your posse and say your prayers. Never mind. I don't care. <laughs> I don't Be care. the first to play. To die. To give your feedback. <laughs> Do you have what it takes? You will not see Sonic Frontiers. Dude, it's fucked up. The most exciting thing from Sonic Frontiers is like a blurry fucking image of like a boost level that looks like. Uh, it kind of looked like City Escape to me, and some people said Sky Guard. I, I, uh, Sky Sanctuary. It definitely is, is Sonic Generations assets. That's the most exciting thing, and it's a blurred fucking like crypt, cryptic image, and not something they've actually shown off. Because they're not letting anyone see the game at the booth. I guess because the reaction was so poor, they're like, make sure nothing gets out. Ten current F1 teams battling it out for a chance to be the next world champion. Sonic Cryptid, yeah. Team and drive every decision that leads to we, we already saw this one, right? And hopefully, I feel like this this one we saw in future games. On your ability to make the right calls on We've seen so many fucking car games. It wasn't track. Races, your the Gun Grave trailer, I'm excited for that shit. I'm back. Driver. And make oh, changes on the fly when necessary. 
issue driver call outs such as instructions oh wait is this the like um, tire wear and battery usage or even to avoid battling a teammate no i, I don't while reacting to dynamic events like race incidents and fluctuating weather and track conditions. oh wait yes yes Between race sorry for a second i i was getting confused with the the um quarters. game that kind of looked like metroid Vania bloodborne to work across your aerodynamics and engineering teams and put but uh gun gun grave looks cool it looks like a ps2 game parts, and i mean that in like the most like reverend way possible it has like that weird like half realistic half edgy um half anime <laughs> you know what i mean all mixed together knowledge is power and keeping a close eye on a plethora of realistic data will help give you the edge from the finer details of how car parts affect overall performance to a track's expected grip level to the condition of your wind tunnel how you analyze what is a ps2 game yeah but when a lot of games come forward they don't make or break your they don't keep that energy You'll find depth and detail and abundance, even down to real world so the gun gave anime. between okay. drivers and engineers, and race commentary from David Croft and Karun Chandok. While broadcast style presentation. I like PS2 games. I, I like PS2 games too. Uh, I would say PS2. I mean, we're just talking about the homogenization. PS2, GameCube, Xbox era. Like, I feel like, I feel like games were just more interesting. And that's not just like just nostalgia. I feel like things were less homogenized. You know what I mean? Like everyone's everything was really experimentative. August twenty fifth. Yeah. Okay. See, I've never heard of this game before, so my mistake. I basically just saying it, it has that energy. I, I like I, that I see and I like it. You know what I mean? Destroy it. I miss anything. Uh, you missed Girl Berserk. Um, this is our update to the game yet. I haven't really been paying attention. <laughs> Everything's been zoning me out. <laughs> Games hadn't been entirely built from one of few formers. Yeah, exactly. So far, and if you haven't played it yet, now is the best time to check out Shivery 2. Take a look at our new trailer that shows off the new update and its Notion invasion. I like women. Me too, bro. That's so cool. We're so alike. It's awesome. This rebellion is at an end. The Agapians flee to their stronghold in the north. This land is mine. Now Denosia rises from the south. Kill them all! Throw the dogs back into the desert. There's a lot. I, I feel like I say this a lot as well now, but there's like a lot of like medieval. Ah, well, I'm scared. Um, like, like instead of like shooters, you know, these, these kind of medieval battle games. Which I, I think swordplay is cool, so I like that. Ready the ships. Long has Sinosha remained safe from my feet. I heard you, Will. <laughs> no more. Games map over here. Maybe there isn't a lot of these. Maybe I just keep seeing the same trailer for this game and thinking they're new ones. <laughs> then. Their city will fall. Their people will bleed. There's only, yeah, there's only Chevalier and Mordhau, yeah. Maybe it's my mistake. Maybe I'm just I see I see like trailers for one of them every fucking conference, like at least once a year. So I probably Hi everyone. Thinking I'm their new games Mendes when they're not. Quebec City. Really glad to be here today for the PC gaming show. We'll be showing the first trailer for our game, Deceive Inc. It's a multiplayer competitive spy game. Streamer the mission. <laughs> Pretty much. I get overloaded. I get all, all these games abilities. blend together. <laughs> so it's hard to keep track. Working with Tripwire presents on the project, so this is only the beginning. Please follow us on social media at Play Deceiving to learn more. We'll be releasing the game in early 2023 on PC, Xbox Series S, NX, and PS5. Thank you so much, and let's enjoy the trailer. Good afternoon, agents. Your mission is simple. Infiltrate the frozen coral underwater. Anytime I see uh, CCP store, my brain turns off. Yeah, that might also be part of it as well. When something's on Epic Store, it's like, it doesn't exist to me. That shit's on the seven seas. But only one will get the paycheck. Do whatever it takes, agent, and be careful out there. Try your best. Let's see if it's enough. Booyah! Oh, come on. Uh, they can't be this fast. 
and they thought it was secure. In the end, I am victorious. Are there leaks on Frontiers? They got a level up system to go faster. I hate that. I hated that in Unleashed, and that's my favorite game. Multiple characters. I heard they were not playable though. Amy being cool, girlfriend giving rewards for fighting collectibles. I did hear about Amy. Um, cause I know she communicates to you after Verney. The see again, the thing that was exciting to me were like the boost levels, cause like that's what I like. <laughs> um, and it looked like it didn't look like the generic grassland. So I'm like, does this game have multiple like zones, and just certain ones are open zone, and then there's like normal ones? Like I don't know. When I see something announced on the CCP store, I, I just take a speed delay to here. That's funny. That's funny. 15 minute tutorial. Yeah, I heard that. I heard it was really awkward. I heard it was really awkward. So I can never got over Sonic too many friends. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's why I even that's why shit. They're like, oh, we want more gameplay styles. Let's just get another version of Sonic, whether it's classic or turn him into a werehog. Mine personally involves a flight of unicorns and a Valkyrie army on Pegasuses, but you know, yours may be different. But you know, somehow I doubt it. This Green Hill confirmed though. I there was not a doubt in my mind. I said that immediately. We're gonna find a zone. It's gonna play a fucking wind chimey chimey version of Green Hill. It's gonna be the one spot with the checkered pattern. But very good news for one of you. Fucking escape this hill, bro. Contents of this room away to a lucky winner watching the show. So let's dive in and see what's up for grabs. The beating heart of any PC gaming dream room is, of course, the rig. So let's start there. As you can see, the Boy, mad geniuses at I buy power have built. Yeah, I think I gave them too much credit when I said things were starting strong. Case I think it, it's kind of it's been downhill since. From the ground up to display the sickest. And people were saying that wasn't even a new game. And let's face it, if you've managed to bag a You're gonna die on this hill because it's literally everywhere. Dry times, you owe it to the Silicon Gods to I've had some extra style levels and controls actually make boosting fun. Looks dope. But for this to be a true dream well, from what it seems, it's boost and open zone. But open zone plays closer to adventure so than boost does, I would say. It seems and like. trust me, there's plenty of power crammed in. The big question, though, is what pixel pusher I buy power has used, and you won't be disappointed with an overclocked RTX 3090 from Gigabyte. These are somewhat known for talking and showing hardware last, I remember. So you think it's already done? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, did they announce how long this is going to be? I definitely don't think we're ending here. And the fastest gaming CPU around, the Intel 5.5 GHz Core i9 12900KS with 32 GB of DDR5 RAM and two terabytes of seriously fast SSD storage, both from a data, makes up the perfect support team. Whew, that is a whole lot of PC. But Mika, you may greedily wonder, what about the peripherals? Man. Well, animal lovers... Where's the 4K rendered, bro? <laughs> Reach the fact. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I want to see, like... I don't want to see Rouge's pussy at 4K, dude. And you noisy typers are going to love the clicky-clacky mechanical keyboard that comes with it. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? RGB? Well, of course! In general, I don't understand why someone would ever want like port at super high res. It's like, you see too much shit, bro. I don't want to... I'm good. So I'll stick to my two dimensions. You can find out more about this gear <laughs> uh, do you know anything about Warhammer? I think you make a cute sister of battle. I know nothing about Warhammer. I know people like it. I know Nazis. I know Twitter people hate it. So it's probably good. But thanks, I think. For your chance, just head over to pcgamer.com slash dreampc and follow the simple instructions. There, you'll find a complete- Please, guy, we'll make Sonic Adventure 3 if you play Frontiers. Worry. Oh, I saw that. Fucking Azuka. As well as I don't trust that, man. <laughs> I don't trust that, man. Slash dreampc for your chance to win. But for now, let's get back to the games. 40k armor is interesting with boob armor. Boob armor is cooler. I like armor in general that's kind of compromised. Like, I do, I do like full plate. Like, that shit's sexy, right? Like, I don't like nudity. Like, the most sexy outfits in general are, again, like full plate armor. Like, shit like that to me. Um, but I, but I, do, I do also like, like, boob armor and stuff, too. I, I think there's something hot about the... Um, it being compromised. No one yet knows if you can kill a god. I, for one, intend we, to find 
Wait, we see. We just saw. We just, bro. We just saw this. Come on. It wasn't. It wasn't good enough to recycle. <laughs> Put it in the trash bin, not the recycling bin. Jesus Christ. I like dress armor too. Like saber. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> bikini armor is six foot male org is pretty hot. I've seen people who do that. I've been in certain Skyrim threads. Yeah, they didn't even make a different trailer. It's literally just like, hey, I put it back on. Anytime someone says, where am I? I'm just look. <laughs> This game's got shmoovement. I don't know about that. It's like shmoovement. A lot of long animation. But like I said, I if the, if it wasn't so ugly, I would consider carrying. Because there is a lot of like options at the very least. But the problem is when you present me with like an ugly world or an ugly protagonist, I lose a lot of care. I mean, it doesn't mean they have to be like super attractive. They just they literally have to look cool. Like that's what I need. Like it doesn't have to be horny horny. Be badass. And I'd be like, oh yeah, dude. Just you know, good character design. That's all I ask. Hey PC gaming show. I'm Derek Bradley, the CEO of A44 Games and creative. Oh no, you're not gonna give me a talky talk, are you? Flint like is set in a world ruled by old gods. <sighs> And so, as humanity, you now have the power of black powder, Shit, guys. bombs, and flintlock rifles Shit. to finally overthrow the gods and take the world back. You'll play as Nor, a black stream sapper. <laughs> the the show did peak at the start. What do I think of Redfall? Uh, Redfall looked fine. It, it did nothing about it stuck out to me. Against the gods and will stop at nothing to get her revenge. But you won't be. Didn't look bad. When Nor brings firepower. How was my, my day? Um, I literally woke up and did this. You will have to master a um, combination of axe combat. And that being said, it was fine. Your companion Enki uses Later on, I'm probably going to either um We can't wait to show you more of Flintlock before it's released next year. Uh, they record more Sonic Unleashed. There's another video I'm writing in conjunction with the Sonic Unleashed video. An epic game store. Have a great show. Coming up next, a mysterious new sci-fi game from 11-bit studios, the creators of this war of mine. Hear all about it in our exclusive interview. Well, this motherfucker just said we have a the second amendment to kill God. <laughs> That's kind of based. <laughs> I, I actually do love protagonist who's like soul things like I'm gonna kill God. Is Demon School like a persona? Like yeah, that that definitely looks like a Persona One Two inspired game. Before we go, the folks at Compass Data Centers have a little quiz for you. How much higher is 5G's data capacity compared to current 4G networks? Scan this QR code and answer the question for a chance to win 500 bucks worth of stuff from Razer. Or visit gaming.compassdatacenters.com. Okay, now back to the PC gaming show. Ready to game the system? Meet me. You trying to fucking scam me again? Come on, dude. This might be the worst. Bank account, because your power shouldn't stop when the game does. Dude. Mana is Come the on. best gaming rewards debit card where you can earn perks and points by paying and playing and get rewarded with the Summer Games Festival is not E3 this year. To show off. Or your next gear upgrade. So why pay any other way? Pay with mana. Pay with power. Mana. Game the system. So I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. It's time to talk about The Alters, the brand new game from 11 bit studios. The Warsaw based studio made us What's a gamer card? War of mine. A scam. Difficult choices in the face of climate apocalypse. They're trying to profit off of our people, bro. Approaching corruption and children of Morta. The altar sends us to the deepest, children? darkest reaches of space in a survival story that is guaranteed to give you an existential crisis in a good way. This is a really big moment for this year's show. I can't wait. Let's take a look. I I think this might be the worst one. I can't believe. It. Unless they could really bring this around. Uh... Uh, all the quote tweets on the Katrina tweet people are starting on. Yeah, I just saw that. 
It's actually what I have open in the other window. Um, but it's very good that her name's being associated with this. Literally everything she's been on in recent memory has been fucking awful. Like that big brooder thing I covered, they switched that. They like changed that out for like later releases. And keep in mind the thing with the cross the cross dresser when they turn when they trans them. The reason that's being fixed is because we contacted the Japanese author and filed the complaints, guys. Again, always speak up, always be doing shit. Don't let these people ruin your fucking media. Do your Japanese reps every day. Learn the fucking language. We can sacrifice a child in this game. I feel uncomfortable <laughs> having that stare. <laughs> I should pay attention. It's just making me hungry. I want a burger. Who's that Katrina person? They're the big brooder person from Higurashi. Uh, they recently um, said that that um, they basically made it very apparent that the, they would, that the change for that cross dresser manga was very purposeful. There's that's a wish list. I feel like I didn't get anything from that. Um, but to be fair, in, in, in the game's defense, I was looking away for half of it. It didn't look bad. I was slightly intrigued by the end. Katrina, yeah. Joining us now to talk about what we just saw all the way from Poland is Tomasz Kasilewicz of 11 Bits. This looks interesting, but no Welcome gameplay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I, I, I tuned back in and I was like, what's going on? Like, Okay, there is a lot to unpack there. We got clones. We got this huge wheel. Tell us, what did we just see? Well, first of all, these guys were not exactly the clones. We saw Jan, our main character, who's traveling with a group of the Alters, who are the alternative versions of the same person. Don't do talking and section. They're going through this I, distant alien planet. I'm fine with the talking uh, section for this base, one. Which was the wheel you saw at the end. Because so I was interested, but I'd rather see gameplay story. than the talk. So you are a space builder stranded on this distant planet. Oh no, but <laughs> that sounds awfully close to crafting. Home. But the thing is, in order I heard survive. To home, oh no. You need to create those altars as each one of them have different set of skills and character traits. So these are what Katrina to you, are you talking about? Uh, well, well. Home. So from the trailer, tonally, this could be a horror, a thriller, a mystery. What should players expect? Actually, there um, are bits. There's several of layers to this conversation. There is this mystery as we're looking deep into the soul of the character. But what you find there can also. I want to let him scary. talk, but so there I'll are those bits of moment. psychological horror and drama. But then on top of it, we have this quite thick layer of surreality. I mean, how surreal would it be to? One day, you know, wake up next to a little different alternative version of your very self. Now, there's a quote that you shared with me earlier, that man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he is both the marble and the sculptor. How does this quote relate to the story? So this quote, it relates directly to the main theme of our game. game. We as people, we are shaping ourselves every single day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm interested decision that we are vaguely. Making. But it's process, like I rather just learn about the game in terms of how I would be playing it. Quite painful at times, but in our game. Anyway, this is the Katrina treat I was originally talking about. Unique possibility. Because the thing I've been talking about on Twitter. Shaping himself. Cross-dressing manga. Um, that that's also a bad title, by the way. That's not accurate to the Japanese. Um, just from the get-go. You see, this is more of a classic. They basically admitted to doing it purposefully. Or is it something more contemporary? So that was the first thing. Well, it is very. That's been happening lately. But we are currently discussing. 
the fact and that Persona 3, a fine localization probably, I haven't looked that much into it. Through, like, through the oh, <laughs> that's the wrong tweet. That's a funny tweet, but that's the wrong tweet. Anyway, she's doing the fucking localization, so relocalization. Like Persona 3 Portable, like which doesn't need one for some fucking reason. So accept, uh, so expect some like big chungus meme or something in here. Again, I've talked about this girl before. She did the big brooder thing for Higarashi. Uh, she's a very. She's an awful localizer by localization standards, which means she's like not circling the drain. She's at the bottom. She's like the sludge. She's gonna make. Oh yeah, she's working on uh, Persona 4, so you can expect that, considering the thing I just showed you, where she made a cross-dressing guy trans, or her friend did, and she was part of that. Even I don't know. After he stopped playing it, this war of mine was this first huge milestone. It it paved the way for yeah. No, don't titles. ever support. And with Frostbank, it was yeah. And she blocks everyone on Twitter. Um. Focus on the emergent narrative, and now with the alters. Have you ever point anything out? That path, but we also really That's why that my one screenshot was wiped. I had to go to a different window. And expand on how we approach meaningful topics. Oh, the version is the one that gets ported to PC. That's what I said, right? I'd rather have Fez, so again, right? Like, I, I hate that, like, Persona 3 Portable has some stuff in it that's good. But, like, not having the open world, you know what I mean, like, the, the open sections and the world and stuff and having the, the visual novel type thing, I don't like that. I'd much rather have Fez, like, a million times over. But I'm also like legitimately worried about having to eventually fight my clone in single hand-to-hand -hand combat when they steal my life, making me wonder if I was the clone all along. Is it really worth it for video games? Yeah, no, it's totally worth it for video games. Anyway, that's a problem for future Mika. Present Mika is much more interested in- Can you guys like you just show anything? <laughs> Dude, I'm just having a normal fucking so stream where I talk about current events. Uh, she has me blocked, never entered with her. Uh, she might have ran a blockchain if you follow me. I mean video games. Katrina has a real problem with anyone. Like, again, I, I don't speak Japanese very well. I'm not fluent. Uh, just a student of it. Uh, but she blocks literally anyone who can, like, accurately say she's wrong. Because it's like these localization narratives. It's like, you guys don't Japanese. You can never get it, blah, blah, blah. So if you're able to understand and perfectly point out flaws, um, she immediately makes sure, like, you and no one, or no, no one, no one associated with you can reach her. We've seen this before too. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, come on. What is, it? what is it, a recap episode? My fucking clip show? Come on. I want to control the 3D model of an early 2000s Zemo Twink. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, bro. What's Katrina's at? Oh, fuck, hold on. Katrina. Katrina. Katrina L. T R N S L eight er. You could also go to my photos if you want to recently posted one of her tweets. <sighs> I'm localizing. The people in localizers think they're important because they have the job, not the skill. Most of them don't speak Japanese very well. It's very apparent. So like that cross-dressing manga. There's like very basic errors in it, and I think like you don't even need Japanese in some cases, because like there's one section where the 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 other guy is talking to you know the CD boy, and he's like, all right, uh, you, you know, I'll do it, but take me out for ramen three times after this, and then they translate it to take me for three ramens. No one talks like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even proper English. Sure, sure. Do you know either language? You like, come on. Medieval potion shop, you get hailed as a master uh. alchemist. But when I do it, I get a sternly worded letter from my landlord about how my cauldron violates our lease agreement. I get you a girl. Uh, is friends with a red bard because, of course, she is. Red bard fucking sucks. Humanly possible, and we aim to deliver quite literally. Dude. The... Oh, little doggy. With guns. A giant mole is on the loose. Now is the perfect time. What is this? This is like an MMO where you play as little animals with guns? Sure. 
Animal Royale Season 4. Alright, fine. Whatever. Olive never hit did look like Olive the Reindeer. I love the 80s! I was at Devolver. Worst red bar take. Oh, yeah, bro. I, I, <laughs> I would need like a minute. <laughs> not a, not a fan. I said this last stream, but like, card game where you're actually fighting things is like super popular genre now. Devolver game they should have shown at their game show. Yeah, it's the Volver show is honestly the worst. I don't think anything is gonna be able to top it. <laughs> Nihongo. Before your eyes lies I'm glad I study ice. Japanese. A world of peace oh, above okay. the clouds, protected by four great houses. <laughs> four of three. Huge sim for localization just because she's friends with a lot of that. Well, that's the thing with localization crowd. It's literally, uh, it's kind of like the VA industry. A lot of favoritism, a lot of nepotism, a lot of like, um, it's just self dick suck. They don't care about, like they always protect their own. There's zero integrity. Earth, our beautiful home. To protect it, we must reach out to Fuck the Fuck Red <laughs> Our experts is presently probing the deep sea in a Man. against the yoke of overregulation. I I feel like you guys should have did a highlight real life, especially because half of these games we've seen at other showcases. We surge forward, obliterating the enemies of progress, but we As long as they don't touch Nato, oh dude, I would be a specifically worried about that because of what I was showing earlier. And now it's time to give you an exclusive briefing on what's next for one of PC gaming's titans of modding, simulation, and... Like, because of this, Arma I would be really worried. Last month, developer Bohemia Interactive kicked things off by releasing Arma Reforger on Steam in early access. This playable prototype will be a foundation Fuck Red Bard, all my homies hate <laughs> playable on Steam now, we have a ton of questions about the future of Arma. I mean, after all, this is the series that helped birth the survival genre through DayZ. Oh, and also this other little niche genre you may have heard of called Battle Royale to help us peer into the future for this project. We've got none other than Bohemia Interactive. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. Seem to just have so as of right now, Arma like Reporter has been out know. for about a month. What yeah, no, 100%. From players? At first, we've learned that players uh like it's i i just don't fucking get it like a lot they, especially because a lot of these people talk about oh like oh japanese problematic this and that the japanese don't get it it's like how do you get into this industry and be this xenophobic like they complain about like colonization shit but like they they do the most fucking like colonizing thing i could fucking imagine right they're trying to remove culture and replace it with their own arma's cool i heard good things about arma I just don't have anything to so say about, no about it. Players who have been longtime fans of the franchise stepping into Arma Reforger, and I'm curious, what were some of the big challenges of rebuilding that specific Arma feel from the ground up in this brand new engine? Well, it's a very tricky subject because even internally. <laughs> when did this happen? Hold on. White. So I, I myself. I'm looking. Uh, very much on the very this is. This is do you guys want to see the no PC out, gamer chat? No safe games, no superficial helpers, and this fight can get very. What was on screen to cause this? What did I miss while I was talking about fucking localization? Obviously, this is part of the fun. So what happened? Dude, it's an Arma fan. 
Wait, it's our own way <laughs> what? What? <laughs> maybe normally in other games because our goal is not to make the same game as all other games. So our our goal is to remain unique. Dude, <laughs> you can speak to what the main goal what? of Reforger is because it's a little unusual compared to other releases. I mean, for instance. How much content is it there? They just get a typical harp moment. Is well, <laughs> of course, to restart the series uh, from technological standpoint, really normal PC use uh, some new achievements, uh, utilize the technology which is state of the art. And then, what the hell happened here? How it's controlled, how it can be modded. It's important to understand. Uh, it may look as a so do, do people sort of do people see Arma like how I see how I see Skyrim right like as a toolbox just for modding? Because it sounds like they're marketing on how nearly five years now, so we really how customizable is it? Yes, okay. Keep improving and that's cool. Improving. I I I like that. There's some stuff. Sorry like to interrupt, that. but we have one quick question from the Arma fans. Has Russia's invasion of Ukraine impacted your approach to Armor 4 and Armor of Forger, a game that depicts the Cold War? Well, yes, because it's extremely close to us. We even live Niles on Sandbox. In, in a way, okay, in yeah, that's Niles, cool. So that's cool. I respect that. Uh, on the other hand, we started work on this many years ago. It's already so over how that I, I don't know. I, I, get, I don't know why that was there. <laughs> like, I just the fucking chat. I'm like, what the fuck's the going the on, bro? Still at the beginning, but we definitely would like to continue in our uh, exploring this serious team. Arma, as I see it, has always been a bit more of a anti-war game. It's an entertainment product. This is what happens it's when you don't uh, show the games, uh, I guess. Thing to admit. On the other hand, uh, given the topic, given um, our, let's say, maturity and long time we've spent on it, and our ambition to portray it uh, as a wall, very complex and gritty thing. I would like us to contribute by not just entertaining people, but also educating them on the subject. This was the whole point of starting the cooperation with the international... A small bit of Persona 5 Royale gameplay they showed at 60 FPS. That's good. Uh, I mean, I expected as much, but you never know. And a very important chance to contribute... No games only have the drives. ...to uh, the good side of things. This would not be an interview about Arma unless we were asking about modding. I mean, so many amazing games and genres came from Arma mods. So I gotta know oh, what's man, possible in Oh, they're they're saying anti-war. But now with this technology, it's possible. That's all I know about this. Entirely different things, like entirely different games. It has so many variables, but the beauty now is that much more of it is user accessible, unlike the previous games. So people can easily digest how this is constructed in our workbench tools. So uh, unlike previous, I was suppressing the few things I was happy about up in Monkey Paw. I feel that, so bro. Honestly, as as suppressing things might, it, it might just be fine. Like again, the, the game's already localized. I can't imagine they'll change much. Um, because they can't, they can't edit the voice acting. They're using the same VAs. So I wouldn't go full doom and gloom yet. So I'm curious. What expectations it's just kind of important to complain about four. these Arma people. Was built on foundations, uh, <laughs> laid down in times of single core and no GPU War is kind of base, bro. So I, much more, uh, I would love a war crime girlfriend, right? Uh, I want a girl a with a record GPU, but it required completely five, uh, approach. Again, 30 war crimes, at least. We know that there are problems that <laughs> like, come on. But we are solving them it's kind of cool. One. It's badass. Persona 3 will at least have one scene censored, I guess. So we are moving things and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to tell what's going to happen. It's, not, well, it's hard not to tell. Much about FPS, but also for, like, network traffic, for instance. <laughs> Name the work. <laughs> multiplayer game, it's a, it's a huge challenge. Server performance, of course, and all the technical things so we are even a war crime what would it be that's hard thank you so much again bohemia interactive for giving us the inside scoop on both armor what are my options here Arma list of war crimes now, you don't go anywhere because here is what's around the corner just around the corner in the pc gaming show will for experience <laughs> taking of hostages to the subconscious with the subjecting persons who are in power to an adverse party of physical mutation spared no expense on the new jurassic world what options two expansion and declaring that no quarter will be given life alex levitation a poison weapon from some very talented modders oh modders what would pc gaming be without you
While we're here, quick geography question. Which parts of you the love world are the most for gaming? Oh man, there's a compass data centers and it could win you a Are we building work times waifus? Maybe. Scan the QR code on the screen to enter. It's like an adult build a bear. War Tales at the PC gaming show, but the publisher <laughs> Your girl uses TikTok, mine broke 17 work. Up next, we'll hear what's up with Shiro's slate of projects and stick around for the debut of two completely new games, Decarnation and Abyssals. Hey everyone, thank you very much for the invitation, Mika. I'm James, Hello. and I can't wait to show you everything that we've got prepared for you today. Hair with different waifus, each based on a different work. So basically, like, fucking, um... Successful release in the history of the company. And it's entirely... Uh, well, I was thinking the gotcha. Today, let's look at Dune Spice Wars... Uh, Arc Knights, but instead of, like, oh, they're, e they're each guns. <laughs> they're each a war crime. All work against AI opponents. We're introducing new synergy systems between factions that will open a vast number of strategies to help you cross Using TikTok should be a war crime. That's fair. That's fair. That's true. I agree. Yeah. Definitely agree. 100%. Fuck TikTok. In a new chapter set shortly after the events of the first campaign, Ragnarok has decimated the lands of Northgard. Long-standing alliances have been broken. Violence and betrayal now plague the continent. Honestly, I feel like Persona 4 has just a, a whole bunch of shitty people behind it. Isn't like some of the VAs just like the worst fucking people in existence? Is that a Monica Real game? This North God expansion arrives Man. this winter. A Junpei was voiced in Vic in English. It's probably gonna change. Oh, dude, that would be depressing. I love Vic. Finally coming to our open world tactical RPG. That's an atlas for you. Gold and camp with your friends a lot of usbas yeah that's true i guess that I, I wasn't really narrowing it down but uh devise the perfect strategy to overcome any threats that may stand in your way but be careful in your approach as one wrong move may lead to your group's demise the co-op update will allow you to play between two to four players amanda winley oh that's probably the one i'm thinking of as one such off person which is a shame because i really liked her etna voice in the original disgaea so if yeah i think that's it unlimited a new publishing label Bro, I, 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 I like feel bad that I'm not like talking about what's on screen, but like I, just, like, they just keep spending like 20 minutes on just games that like, I just don't care about. It seemed to be our last chance to start again, to escape Earth's devastation. I'm on Twitter, dude. Like, <laughs> the best VA in Persona 4 is the one that spe speaks the least. Deep below the waves of this strange new planet. But soon, we realized it was not the dream world we had hoped for. But the girl, she's quirky. Oh, my favorite. When faced against the darkness of the There's universe, nothing on screen, Dimitri. <laughs> I'm in a room. I'm having a schizo episode by myself right now. Isolated. Nako VA doing NFTs. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I like this pixel art. Decent. Like, it's not like my preferred type of style, but uh. It, 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 so there's like this very generic like indie pixel art that I fucking hate. Anything more stylized than that, I'm like, okay. I see you're doing something with it. RPG Maker style, yeah. Dude, I, I unironically love RPG Maker games. Fucking soul is in, the, in that code. Well, that was the first thing I cared about in a while. Thank you very much for sticking with us, everyone. We hope you enjoy the rest of the show. RPG Maker Phenotype. <laughs> Another Persona 4 Golden Port with Nona Knock over a Hey, hey! Exactly right it's coming to PC. Even you can be the change you want to see in the world. confronted your inner demons in the retro dream horror of decarnation. Next up, how do you rebuild a city in a world set after the collapse of civilization? Katrina Black and Tiny. Oh, did you quote Reshader? I am future from Tiny Build. Yeah, I'll probably make a tweet after this stream. I'm only tweeting while I am on stream, though.
eight minutes ago. <laughs> Drew said the RPG case and only good games here. <laughs> it was a uh, solstice. I don't even think everything was awful. Like, I, I, on some level, it's just like a lot of these games are just not for me, and I get that. Warning. Hibernation aborted. Your total hibernation but there's, but this is easily the conference with the most talky talk. I uh, don't feel bad. Moments like this, Maximilian does the- Ooh, Alex Yick! <laughs> does the chat move falling asleep to cover all camera and spins the no chair. Idea where the hell I am. That's pretty but funny. It's pretty funny. This is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is he crafting? I know he's surviving, bro. <laughs> I am Alex Yick. That's fucked up. Can't believe I just saw that happen. <laughs> I am yicking out right now. <laughs> Our forefathers conquered Caldaria. And bestowed it upon us. A new generation. <laughs> Vaguely indie art style. Crafting. I feel like I've seen this game five times today. Our great house is sick to obtain the Emperor's favor, cultivating our lands and subjects to improve and enrich the realm. Beginning with ourselves, of course. Prominence can be secured through strength. As well as delicacy. Will you be able to when they become suddenly okay to have redheads in games? <laughs> oh, I, well, I think you need more of a trend, right? Joy. I think it's because it's like the approachable white man, right? The the red hair and the the beard goatee thing. It's kind of like how most like black guy protagonists are like super nerdy looking male. They do move in herds. That was so much. The thought process is simple. That God wasn't funny. Dinosaurs, God destroys dinosaurs. Man destroys God. Did not laugh. Man creates video games to play with dinosaurs. But just I do not feel humored right now. These trailers might come as a bit of a shock to the system. What? So Katrina said, "Oh wait, there's not, never mind. Dinosaurs. Sorry, we'll worry about that later." Oh, is this the yeah evolution too? Eh. Expansion pack. Oh, that's the new boy in the movie. Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Evolution is pretty fucking raw, actually. PC gamer. gamer. Humans interfa interfacing with computers for, 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 for their own entertainment. The very notion. Disgusting. I love evil robot lady dude, with hot voice. Works, foul creatures. And weep at its magnificence. It this game for definitely wants to see. <laughs> so is this like a straight up remake? Oh, it is. Humanity is, is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, and its new god. How did... So I've never played... The original system shocks. I've always wanted to. For people who have, how, can you a how are you feeling? You are an insect. You are it's good. Oh, I, 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 the original is good. <laughs> how do you feel seeing this though? I iterate. I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. Heard very good things, gotcha. My children. Yeah, because I don't like the comment when I'm not a fan of the series, because I feel like I don't know if something looks good. You will suffer for your transgressions. transgressions. These are my uh, 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 avenging angels. Recommend, gotcha. And they will have retribution.
That's good to see. So, like, because, like, that visually looks stunning to me. Look, and, again, looked interesting, but it's, like, I feel like when something's remade, it's, like, I want to hear from the people who, like, really care about it already, you know? Developed by Night Dive Studio. That's cool, Shock though. ...is the return of a beloved, acclaimed sci-fi saga. Today, to take us even further inside... No the date? Shock, no date is a common theme today. <laughs> ...one and only Warren Spector. Thanks so much for joining us, Warren. PS4. Hey, oh, man. Be, uh, fun. In terms of trying to translate the experience of do they even have one game let's be real three decades later to now what doesn't carry over well the first thing is the graphics fucking uh the the uh, fucking restart game die that's uh, coming to pc but, uh, ratchet and clank is on the fucking back. nvidia leak and the the other one is the uh, user interface when are they gonna if get a game guys the, when's the, the alleged game, one game uh, going original, to come a, a bloodborne on ps4 bro the entire screen with text it, it's just a thing. I don't know how the guy that did it. It's on PS4. But frankly, as I think back on it, the game actually holds up pretty well. I'm excited to see it come back. Just wondering if you think many modern gamers are aware of the impact that System Shock has had in terms of gameplay systems, in terms of narrative structure, on so many games that came after. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure people see the influence, which is uh, a little, a little unfortunate. But I think the rest of the world is is going to get the chance now to experience it. And I, I think they'll see not just that they're having fun playing this game, but also see that uh, other games followed in its footsteps. Nowadays, we walk around with computers in our pockets. We're worried about the evil of algorithms. So, so I'm talking about PS5 specifically. Everyone keeps saying Bloodborne, but PS5. I'm asking if PS5 has a game that's sticking to it. And let's just hope that she doesn't show up as nasty a form as she did back in 1994. <laughs> well, Warren, I wanted to thank you so much for joining us. And I want to let you know, I cannot wait to return back to that world I played and enjoyed so much as a kid. Cheers. Hey, I can't Naughty wait Dog, Kill Jack, and Next World. for Uncharted. <laughs> See, I, I kind of... Right? I'm fine with that, right? It's like, would you really want a modern Jack and Dexter made by not current Naughty Dog, right? It's like how I'm like, I rather have, like, I love Ape Escape. Ape Escape's my series, right? Like, I rather have that be dead than be fucking, like, dredged along to be some fucking racism allegory, whatever the fuck Sony would do with it. I don't know. You have to mod this shit out since it's not one for the play good. I imagine it's, it might even be a little tricky just to get working on modern systems these days. It's quite an old game, isn't it? I often just wish fucking Halo ended after Reach. Yeah, dude, Halo's... <laughs> Ooh, Halo, Halo's having a rough time. Like, not just games, movies, or TV shows, excuse me. The war between Mars and Titan devastated our solar system. Be the survivors to Demarat, where you will continue falling from tears. It's packed around easy enough. It's popular. Orbit of an alien star. That's good. I've seen, you've shown this. Come on, dude. Come on. You could have had like a a much shorter show. It would have been much better paced. You just did not show me the same fucking trailers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Communicate with each other, bro. Uh, excuse me. Ah. Oh, Good golly gosh. Dude, I cannot get over this. Holy fuck. Overwatch 2 truly greatest achievement was finally making a character so fucking ugly, right? Here's your here's your new Overwatch character, bro. All right, gamers. Like all consuming. We made it here to a site of grace. Or a bonfire, or a sculptor's idol, or a lamp. Make Disgusting. Sure hydrated, replenish your potions, and most importantly, keep the alt skins. I don't think there's any fix in that. I'm good. Gaming show. 
I mean, personally, I can't wait to think play. Think that's ugly? Players. I think it's oh, disgusting. Now, all rested up, feeling good. It's time to enjoy a slice of that lovely cyberpunk life, courtesy of Novalis. She looks like she, 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 looks like she smells bad, right? Like, some girls Before smell talent, good. The latest from the mind of Sam Barlow. That ain't stinking nice. That was an Overwatch skin. I'm gonna enjoy some abs. There's better abs to be had in Overwatch. Y'all need some standards. What is this? The jaw is illegal and Brand could kill someone? That's... His greatest achievement, they were like, we are make a character that will not have a billion pages on Roll 34. That girl's cute. Eh, a little less so now that I'm seeing this. How'd you match a negative rule 34? <laughs> That's the power of Blizzard and Overwatch too. Can you speak Italian? Nah. Uh, after I after I feel like I'm fluent enough in Japanese, I'd love to learn like French. I think. We can take a break. I could learn Italian, uh, but it, I don't feel like I'm gonna have much use for it. Unless I choose to move to Italy, but I don't think I would. Did her story in Rome for two Western Silent Hill games. Hey, boss! Time to wake up. We got customers waiting. Dude, cyberpunk. Where to start? Let's clean this place up. Crafty! We can make this place shine again. If the weather gets bad, we can grow some veg in the greenhouse. Once we start making really just act like a bottom, that's the same as being French. That's true. That's true. Insta surrender. <laughs> so make friends, make enemies, give customers a route, just turn on the old charm. I saw a pixel version of this trailer like five years ago. <laughs> this is a world to explore, to make stories, your stories. A lot of these problems would be solved if they used an, using an actual art style. I agree. Clouds and wonder I agree. What's up there? Well, if you dream big enough, maybe you'll find out. Maybe we all will. Welcome. To I thought we decided FMV games were a mistake in the late nineties. I feel like people are kind of just nostalgic for it. Now it's kind of why it's like, oh, that could be an interesting Hi, idea. Not that that game looks particularly and interesting and to me, but like, I can get my mind around why. This is the game in which you manage your restaurant, bar, or nightclub, take care of your staff, make- Cyberpunk's like the aesthetic right now, right? The stories of the people you meet. Or maybe you just want to take the day off and go fishing at the docks instead. Nivali Might as well learn, uh, some more in my language. You spend lots of time creating a unique atmosphere with That's funny. <laughs> and dynamic elements. We are excited about this. We'll see. I, I, I would like to learn more. I like language learning, but I feel like there's a point where my brain will stop. Ava, what is this tweet you made, bro? Is the gaming rewards debit card that puts the power back in the hands of players. I miss QuickTime so in only games. I like QuickTime when they're in, when it's implemented, like in a, in a non-annoying or intrusive fashion. Like, it, like it, it is a fine line. I, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of QuickTime, but I, I do. I, I, so There's like Kino moments, like <laughs> Metal Gear Rising or something, where like you really like pulls you into the action, you know? Like those big moments, like I just fucking mashing and stuff. I don't know, man. Like it adds, it adds. It adds. It's great quick time events. Yeah, it, it's like. There's there's a fine line between where it's too intrusive and when it, when it's actually adds stuff to the game. I think it got such a bad rap because for a while it was like everyone used it in every game ever and excessively, you know. 
Necrosoft. Oh, is that that? It's him. It's him. It's the game with that guy. Little death. So this is basically just Persona, right? Like, but like... Something's off about the art. It looks very like Dream Data. Dream Daddy. -y. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like it. Same with the pixel. Everything is slightly off. Persona 1, but sh yeah. Tumblr, yeah, right? Hmm. Western anime, but not anime. Yeah, that's, that's a great way to describe it. Anime inspired. That's a little disappointing, because like, I wasn't completely turned off by the pixel art at first, even if I'm not a big fan. Um, but like, not liking the 2D art is actually kind of a deal breaker for me completely. <laughs> where, where are we going to see Volcano High? <laughs> I'd pog if we saw Volcano High. I, I do like, like, what I do like about it is the aesthetic of it. Like, I like these 3D creatures on everything. Like, I love that. I love those mixtures, right? Um, but that's the only thing I like. There goes kind of cute. Sometimes these have like, like there's like a there's like a diamond in the rough. Sometimes. <laughs> you just saw Demon School from Welsh developer Isbrid Games, and now it's time to take a bit of a spooky transition. If you're at home, turn on all the lights in the room. Make sure the salt circle is unbroken and check to see that your door is properly painted with sacrificial lamb's blood because things are about to get certifiably terrifying. Let's look at the H.R. Giger inspired biopunk horror. Welsh, ew! <laughs> ew! I didn't hear that. It's decayed. A grisly nightmare of macabre perception. Greetings. I'm your host, Doug Bradley. How and long I is this, bro? This is, the, is this, this is the longest showing. Scorn's mesmerizing labyrinth of odd forms and somber tapestry. Oh, Geiger stuff, right? The Scorn, okay. You awake. There's supposed to be an hour left. Of a desolate hellscape. I'm not strong enough. Biomechanical contraptions. Part flesh, part machine. An industrial civilization. <laughs> Now lying in decay and ruin. Did I miss anything? No, you haven't. We've just been sitting in silence for nearly two hours now. Wanting nothing more than to be left undisturbed. Lovecraft's views may have not aged well, but he had a point about the Welsh. You see those those, those people's name. Everything is focused on building a specific atmosphere from a unique organic ecosystem. To an this game has been shown for years. Yeah, again, I like the, the style of it. But... Scorn has no dialogue, so most of the based. storytelling comes it's based. The environment, discovering the ever-present symbiotic relationship. No quips. And how things are connected equips you with the tools to progress. While there is shooting within the game, Scorn is not a shooter. Every encounter must be carefully considered. A wrong choice could be deadly. It's like the Emperor looks like my room. <laughs> you live like that? <laughs> of the team at Ebb Software can't wait for you to uncover the secrets of this unique world. Dude, I hope it comes out. Scorn firsthand. This October. What? Are you prepared to unravel your inner self within cool. Scorn's world of horror? Where the funny Reddit jokes? <laughs> now, while I've been delightedly playing Dune Spice Wars, harvesting Melange, and trying to figure out how to pronounce. Quest, qu it doesn't matter. I'm equally ready to turn. I saw the tweet about the localizer. Yeah, we we were talking about it for a while. Space Marine 2. 
In this brutal third person um, shooter, they're doing is checking if the text gets ported power, over properly and stuff in regards to buttons. Oh, the follow-up, yeah. I, I looked at it briefly. That's good to hear, but I'm not sure I trust it because um, kind of a, a, known, a known liar. Known fibber. Pants frequently on fire. But uh, I hope that's the case. Because again, I, I thought it was weird to begin with. I'm like, why do you hire a localization coordinator when it coordinator? Coordinator, <laughs> when it's a completely, um, you know, localized game already. Can we translate it? Doom guy was actually a space marine inspired by an even older space marine, which is the Warhammer 40,000 space marine. So big off your know, scoring, but really I feel it's going to end up for, like agony. For me to work on uh, space I'm guessing that released to a know, disappointment. A I, I definitely have heard this game before. It's inspired so many other video games. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen this. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, absolutely. It was kind of really, it was really middling, right? I think this brings us to talk a little bit about English Dimitri, do you speak it? Not well. Play a space Not well. Talk to us a little bit about I don't speak I don't speak English or Japanese well. Especially I again, I, I think this is the whole in front of the YouTube camera thing, killing your IQ. I like things I say normally constantly. I can't get them out when I speak. A super soldier from his own DNA. Beyond he mid? That's his point. Well, I hope this one works out for you. Of the Emperor. But what makes the Primaris different is that uh, a guy named Belisarius called we... uh, the Emperor's kind of chief scientist, went back, did some Hold digging on. in the old uh, data, and found a way to enhance the, the qualities that a space marine has by installing new devices. But she got tense in Lost Judgment. I think she was just in charge of making sure the translation so team knew how to use software from late translation. Well, that's good. Of destroying anything in their path. Yeah, like, uh, and I was also saying earlier, it's like we don't know what's going to happen. Like, it's, it's kind of like a be cautious and see, I would, I would say. But I wouldn't, like... Be doom and gloom right now. Are they the main enemy that you're going to be against? And if so, what makes them? So we we've have fun? seen this before, this right? Because I I feel like the main focus, like last year I specifically remember the trailer they're, they're showing in the background. Uh, locust like creatures. They they've come in. I don't know about the succubus spinoff game though. Or like you could fuck damn souls in that. That so it might be good. Oh, for um other thing I just looked up right the the game that was less than mid apparently. I think I remember hearing that too. Saber Swarm Engine can Interesting idea. These epic battles. Now we will have thousands of Tyranids. Shoulder uh, Channel last year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember it. I mean, that is so thrilling because this is the sort of thing that. So I remember saying it looked cool. To do. And you're talking a little bit about combat. I know that some of the previous entries were more melee focused. What's the combat like in Space Marine 2? So the combat in Space Marine 2 is a mix of in your face melee combat along with some really cool over the top weapons. So um, you know we 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 looked at you know the original Space Marine. That was also game, making torture for again. Where, they, where no. uh, it had a lot of this push. Yes, score fans are like enough. I'm going to many other video create games. My own content. But, uh, but that never stop, never take cover combat is integral to Space Marine 2 along with you know these these really cool powerful weapons so you, uh, you're either tearing up fun to way to make games you, workshop a lot of money by making from, players uh, buy back the best it's, uh, it's it's the best of both worlds i mean that sounds so terrific and i mean i know you guys i lost such and start virgin translate is in cell though oh dude i there is there is that what was it? What was the one game that translated Sundari into toxic masculinity? What fucking game was that? And you go around all these cabinets where these incredible. I don't think that was. I don't think that was Katrina. Like in that category. You find yourself kind of fate, fate Morgana. There we go. Yeah. I was like, what? What did you fucking say to me? Yeah, Fate Morgana. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, Warhammer fans. I don't know much about Warhammer. Seeing that actually happen and come alive has been thrilling. Am I going to feel like the characters in the Astartes an animation? Because if so, then I'm buying the game immediately. <laughs> e even more so, when, when you're wielding one of those massive... Oh, they made it fragile male ego. My bad. I mean... <laughs> wait, wait, did I read that right? You can see shell casings bursting out of these massive weapons one after another. 
the sound, the gameplay, the way it feels is all designed to make you feel like the most powerful warrior. Yo, T, thank you for the two. Uh, can I get a wish for Command and Conquer news? So much, Tim. God bless. Praying every night for Command and Conquer to come back and not be a mobile game. Let's clarify, no mobile. <laughs> Now next, no monkey paw curl. Surprises for you up the sleeves of our proverbial power armor. I got you, bro. First, replicant D6's homage to the golden days, or should I say, golden eyes of 90s consoles. He is still my personal and favorite shoot. SDD? What, what happened there? Frontier Developments and Kyoken Interactive. Let's take a look. God, why can I not find this? Yo, thank you again, T, for the two. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I kind of saw this forever. And I got like flabbergasted, actually. <laughs> I love this like older art style. Um, I say this all the time, like uh, MGS1, like that era. Um, of like low poly. I much prefer this to like shitty pixel art. I think people are like, oh, I'm gonna make an 8 bit game. Basically, I'm an eye. Yeah, exactly. Because, see, I. <laughs> Agent 64 Spencer. See, when I thought. Because, again, there was like a leak for Xbox. Because the, the GoldenEye remake I thought was finally coming out. So, when we were talking about GoldenEye, I was like, oh, that's gonna be here. No, no, I won't see him, but I guess... <laughs> Golden... I guess we got Golden Eye at home. <laughs> Sarah? Ryan? This is Kathy. Can you hear me? Please come in. Mission Opera has only one... Yeah, fragile male... fragile male ego. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology. So basically the cat... the cat... we've seen this trailer before too, haven't we? Oh wait, hold on, no way. What a butt. Miles begins with a single step. Todd, where's that? I need to know that when we get there, Todd. Where's your female ass, bro? We can do this. <laughs> Yo, space <laughs> survival graphic. <laughs> what do you expect to find on Mars? Deliver us Mars. There's a lot of fucking space games this year, bro. Hi, my name's Elise. The mod, it, that's true. Kathy Johansson in the out of that... world sci-fi epic, Deliver Us Mars. Join Kathy and the crew of the Zephyr. Do not go near that woman. She has the BPD haircut, bro. You ain't gonna make it out of that relationship alive. Deliver us Mars is set to land on September. Anyway, here's the thing. Available to pre -order now they translate to how's your fragile male ego holding up, but if I remember correctly, the Japanese. Um it's basically just calling him a sun a sundary. And listen. <laughs> to this list of games still to come. The team behind Half Life. I wish I could find the original Japanese. Their where their mouth is, and then it's paradox time. Not as in us creating an actual time paradox. We're going to show you the latest from Victoria 3. Plus, you can literally scare your entire butt off. Keck, what the fuck is that? Oh, that! All this and more in just yeah. a moment. But first... I appreciate the fact that, like, the average person is becoming more knowledgeable to the people behind these games. How much has East BPD and Excellency. <laughs> Comfort State Census wants to hear your guess, and you can scan this QR code on the screen for a chance to win a $500 Razer gift card. Visit gaming.comfortstatecensus.com to enter. All right, and now, back to the show. How many times are they, are they trying to sell me on this fucking scam? The highly anticipated real-time strategy game from Frost Giant. Then our resident RTS. Good man, so people this time start noticing. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. Like, when can we I agree. Play this already? But I do think part of it is it's easier to actually, like, because, you know, Twitter and stuff. Like, it's easier to actually put, like, names and faces together. From the developers of StarCraft 2 and Warcraft 3, is this Blizzard? Oh, yeah, it is this. Oh, fuck. 
Two years ago, our team assembled with a shared vision to build a brand new real time. I love how I've been seeing together, like journalists like some of the greatest show this already a fucking course. Do it again by creating like the same fucking the people who sat on like purpose. sexual allegations Today, for 10 we years. I'm so excited to share a first glimpse of Stormgate, an exclusive sneak peek into the universe and game that we've been creating for you. Do you think Storm Blizzard has like a hierarchy? Like whoever steals the most breast milk is like the king alive. at this company? Our story stuff? begins hundreds of years in Earth's future, following the Not Blizzard but X-Rise from years ago, yeah. This great calamity was caused by the infernal host. <laughs> they have a new cosmos. Race of demonic invaders that are hellbent on claiming this planet as their own. With our story, we are I've been on a war panel where I've again censoring post, since Mugen's Falls. Ongoing series of campaign missions. What happened with Mugen's Falls? Like solo or cooperatively. New chapters will come out regularly, along with new units. Oh, this uh, this this plenty of other surprises. This this, this art style this, it looks like Disgaea. We're building a world-class competitive experience with grassroots and professional tournaments accessible from directly within the game. Is this connected or is it just the same artist? Suitable for all levels of. They removed the bath mini game. In our new three-player co-op. This means AI wars, game, fellas. Oh, I see it. I see the cute wars. fucking like lolly characters. Never forget what was taken from you. Holy Storm shit! Gate fuck these. Free to play, but not pay to win. And there will be <laughs> a groper of the month instead of a player. Beta testing starts next year, and you can sign up now to reserve your place in line at PlayStormgate.com. You might happen to know that I'm a huge fan of real-time strategy games. StarCraft is my favorite game. I played it for 25 years. Same artist, yeah. Still play it. I figured it was. I, I figured so it either had to just be the same Boston artist or directly studios. connected. So it was 100% the the art style. Who have worked on literally my favorite games of all time. No We're NFTs is a selling point. I missed that. <laughs> Free to play real-time strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic Earth. It's storm. Imagine that being the thing you put on the, the box. CEO and production director we could be worse. Tim Morton, thanks for joining us, Tim. Thank you so much for having me. I want to know about the world. I want to know about the game. Tell us what is Stormgate. All right, this is our first game as a new studio. Um, and it is classic real-time strategy, but designed to be more social. We build the game in a universe that ties everything together, but provide different right. kinds of experiences for players who like different kinds of gameplay. So we've got a cooperative campaign mode, also play open-ended co-op, but if you're somebody who really enjoys competition, we've got one versus one high skill competitive. And those are very different ways to play in some ways, but they're also all unified by the universe, by the races, by the units. So you really yeah, yeah. Man. get a sense for how to enjoy the game. And I'm curious a little bit about that core gameplay, because obviously in all these modes, you're gonna be collecting money, building bases, building units, and so on. And I know that for you, the game feeling really good and really smooth to play is super important. Now, obviously I, I come from a time where I remember when a, bad. I remember when a lot of companies were like, "Oh, no loot boxes." But I mean, how do you think Same about shit. getting the controls, the motions? I you'll jump ship before a lot of this should happen. Timeline was. Yeah, I mean, I think most people are just kind of making jokes because we're kind of bored. Only genres I can think of where you have. I, 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 I'll give them a benefit of the doubt. I don't think these guys were sucking any office titty for breast milk or whatever. In a way that high skill like pro We need more games like Little Witch, No Better. Oh, dude, I love Little Witch, No Better. require custom technology um, there's no engine that you buy Great off the shelf that does that for you so we definitely started knowing that <laughs> um, and having the benefit of our, our chief architect james anhold who i am from microsoft dissolves blizzard uh buys Starcraft up three i feel like no one no one who knows how to make games well still works at blizzard right like i, I remember hearing something about wow specifically that like when they were pushing updates they were having trouble it's because they didn't have anyone who specifically, come I, I don't know what in the system it was exactly, but like there's something that so no one knew how to man. Because <laughs> everyone was fired or left. Learning everything that Unreal can do for us, but even that first cinematic that we debuted, like that's done in Unreal. So the high quality graphics that you're seeing are actually coming from Unreal as an engine. So we've talked a little bit about, for new players, making the game feel a little more approachable. Uh, the game I'm working on does have a line of code that breaks your game console pre Starcraft, <laughs> real-time strategy, has this astonishingly long history as a competitive game, as an eSport. And I'm curious, how does your uh, team man, like stretching my legs. That? So a lot of the emphasis around our thinking has been focused on 
what are things that we can add, especially around the gameplay experience? Mm -hmm. uh, I wish they'd liven up the show by having one of them grab the bolt cutters to cut the others and they on the slapstick joke or something. Sign up, participate in tournaments. <laughs> that would that would get my attention. Uh, last year they had this whole plot about giant robot taking over yeah, and there was crashing and ships. People died, theoretically. The best on your block or the best I feel like that was a better show. I said it earlier. I, I found them more entertaining than Devolver that year. All the way from grassroots level up to the pro level directly in the client. So, of course, in the history of RTS games, a really important component of them has always been mods. I mean, Warcraft 3, there's players that didn't even play the original game. They just did custom mode after custom mode. Does Stormgate have modding? How are you thinking about the modding community? A number of members of the Frost Giant team actually... Was Devolver that bad? I think Devolver has gotten worse every year. From the outset... I, Devolver was by far the worst show, particularly this editor. year. Um, I think there's a lot of... I think because they, they try too hard to one-up themselves the every year. And, like, it's... Like, I, the first few years, it felt, like, very, again, quick. Um, there was games in between everything. It felt like I was seeing more skit than anything. Absolutely. And I was like, this isn't even course, that funny. I have so. to end with my favorite question of all. When can we play the game and how do we play it, Tim? So we are going to start our beta in 2023. We already have a site stood up at playstormgate.com to be able to register for the beta. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of active discussion topics on our subreddit as well. So there's an opportunity to participate in the dialogue around what we're building. Tim, thank you so much for joining us again today. We just got a chance to talk about Stormgate, the upcoming free-to-play RTS from Frost Giant Studios. I'm personally <laughs> super pumped to play it, and be sure to check it out. It, it is very Reddit. Stormgate. I think that's how I described it. Tim, I'm going to do a transition to the next game. Are you ready? Um, this is going to be good. Watch this. It's going to be so sick. Next, we're going to show you Lesara, uh -huh. Summit Kingdom from Quite OK Games. Now, as someone who has spent a medically inadvisable amount of time playing strategy games of all sorts, this looks incredibly up my I love game. games. And it looks a lot safer than my last attempt to create society in the mountains. Two words, Tim, yodeling accident. Let's check it out. All right, what do we have here? I have faith that no, no better team has a plan. It was funny the first time I got set. Yeah, exactly. Like, they just keep trying to go. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Building! Hey. Oh. Gams is a funny boy. Favorite Japanese speaker on the net. There's some good localizers, guys. Just gotta go looking. <laughs> I wouldn't let this person suck my dick if she offered me money. <laughs> Gams statement, I thought always right. I love Gams. Uh Ine, or Ini, however you say his name. Um he often helps me with the translation stuff when I'm studying and I'm like, I don't understand this. Um, so it's nice getting to know these people. Gives hope. You missed Danganronpa 4? I would like to miss survival crafting. <laughs> I would like to miss uh, Danganronpa 4 for the rest of my life. Is this like Westward Genshin, dude? Is that what's going on? It's crafting <laughs> That was Frozen Flame, an open world survival RPG from Dreamside Interactive. The absolute oh, fucking state a in a world of the British dude, hold on. Calamity. A cursed land full of environmental hazards and massive monsters doesn't sound like the kind of place you'd want to build a cozy home with your friends, but instead you'll be raising fortresses and trying to tame the world. Eventually, this is absolutely fucking pathetic. I hate Zinda corporations. I hate corporations trying to be curse. like super or like, end up in the belly look, we're just like you guys. This is a okay, funny meme. Okay. Is it our social media presence? Just before the show, so you can jump in or grab some co-op buddies and see how long you can survive for right now. And keep an eye I'm gonna on the early guys. access launch later this year. Torture. 
<laughs> All these devs just decide they need to make a space hard for, for aggressive at the same time. <laughs> there was like a group meeting. They were like, you know what people love about the AAA industry? How homogenized and samey all the games are. We should really try to capture that, indie devs. I don't know if Randy's Twitter, but then everyone else had the... Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I'll 100% admit to that. It helped that Wendy's, like, you associate it with, like, a cute mascot, right? <laughs> like, I definitely think putting, like, a like a, like a, a face to that. But uh, it's just, like, every company does it now. Every company tries to be wacky and relatable. And put you in charge. Uh, one thing I will say though, um, no, I'm an honest man. You guys know that. Never told a lie in my life. I like this diva design. I, I, I love, I love me a ponytail, right? Like something nice to pull on. Uh, but notice, instead of a skin tight suit, they kind of gave her armor now. Interesting. But uh, face wise, design wise, in terms of all that shit, that looks nice. To protect what is proven and stable. Your politics will decide where you want to go. Ponytails, greater than side shaves. A hundred percent, my brother. You'll come. Taxes, production, trade, and construction. Play these cards right. This and you can harness the industrial revolution <laughs> to turn your cities into titans. Old, old Chun Li is also growing on me. I gotta admit, I think. If that design was still the same Chun Li, I wouldn't like it. But the fact that Chun Li is 50, looking like that, yeah, no, I get it. Especially because people's eyes like shrink. Quotation marks just because the way your face is as you get older. So I think it does make it better. Like I look at it, I'm like, oh, I get it. I, I, sometimes she still looks a little weird, but the game's in development, so I feel like her face will probably get touched up a little bit. Yeah, 50 year old Chun Li pouting, so cute. God, dude, I need. Do you really think she's 50? Yeah, she's 50 now, canonically. I mean, she might be like late 40s, but about that age. Yeah, Street Fighter 6 has a lot of soul. Um, like the, there's like the just like the the way you can do like. Um, let me get a sense out here. Like, like the fact that like when you're doing the match thing and you can like do like quirky little things like oh like you change your facial expression to show like motion to the other player and stuff like that's cool. Um, there's the the taunts like being somewhat character specific is also really cool. Just like a lot of soul. Do what they did to Ken. They took his fucking kids, bro. I do feel bad for Ken. I hope, I don't know, I hope his story ends with him getting back together, dude. She took the fucking kids. Alright, new blood? Is this... I... Oh, it's is it Boomer? Oh, is that like a studio? I feel like I saw this before. Yeah, it's definitely a studio, studio right? What's that good? Yeah, yeah. Um. So I was saying, I feel like I've, I feel like I might have even played some of these games before. <laughs> nice to meet you, bots. Yeah, I, I. That's good. Again, boomer shoes are really weird for me, and that like I never grew up with them. I didn't even play them like as I became a teenager and like could have went back. I just started playing them like past few years. I'm like, wow, these are fun. Like, What's up, PC gamers? We're back again. They're so fast. Now, what you just saw was everything New Blood's got going on for 2022. A medieval the Black Labyrinth. Publisher Plus Ultra Studio. Kill, gotcha. Two, okay. okay. Faith, Fallen Aces, and a brand new update for Dusk that's bringing all new HD models and weapons that nobody asked for. So we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Would you let Ken now, crash in his house? I'd let him stay for at least a here. week. Uh, that we weren't ready to talk I'd let him know he has some place to come. We're still not ready to talk about those games, but I want to let you know that yes, we're still working on a top. Iron Fury, yeah, Iron Fury is yes, the one I played. We're still Iron Fury. Working on a Fallout style RPG, my dream game, and yes, we're still working on a car combat game, but we're not ready to. Talk oh, like about Twisted Metal? Just yet. Oh, that's pretty fun. Talk about oh, man, good, good publisher Gloomwood. studio hybrid now, two years ago, team. Y'all straight up forgot to show the Gloomwood trailer. Last year, you bumped me so Gabe Newell could talk about a bunch of demos or some shit. This year, PC Gamer, you promised 
You promised we would get to show Gloomwood, so I don't want to hear any bullshit. If you're on a Steam Deck ad right now or some shit, I'm gonna... Steam Deck. Powerful, portable PC game. That's funny. PC gamer! You see this puppy? <gasps> I will drown this puppy. I will, if you don't let us show Gloomwood, I'm going to drown this adorable. I would never. I would never. I would never do that. Hi, I love you. So yeah, we good? Uh, no. This is the first talky segment where. Well, I, no, they're the, the the one around System Shock helped my attention. Well, all right. It's about time. This guy's. I, I. He. He was here last year, right? He. He got mad because Gabe Noel as well. Fun guy, big personality. Oh, now how tight she is still. I mean, with the way she bends, I would say extremely. Dude, it's like Resident Evil. I like the, the graphical style of this one. Don't Played the demo for this last year. Gotcha. Basically, first person Resident Evil. Okay, cool. cool. Um, <laughs> again, the one thing I could definitely say about it is I love the style of it. Like, again, this, like, early PS1 era. I have, like, a fetish for this type of thing. It's like an original, original Resident Evil uh, and original Thief. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's neat. I feel the problem with this show is like there, there is, there is more stuff I've liked here than Summer Games, but the problem is we're at two hours, right? So while there was more, there's also so much more that I did not care about. That's probably the URLs they make for them. It wouldn't be a PC gaming show without the silliest, most ridiculous website names in human history. Which is why I'm delighted to share that next, we have a group of such games that run the gamut from medieval mayhem to an adorable animal fight club. And our first rule, we absolutely plan to talk about it. from dropping it. <laughs> Could have been so much shorter. Yeah, if they shortened it down, a lot more highlight reels, they could have had a decent showing. Like... Nintendo confirms Link's last name is also Mario. Cool. Always new. Always new. Bell Italian. Corrupted what? Why is it always doing this just when I need to showcase the game? PewDiePie uses the Anki okay. method like you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think Anki is the best way to um, study Japanese. Obviously, there's a supplemental thing. You should do more. Um, but it's good for vocab and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Hard drive is so quick. I like how you knew that was from hard drive. <laughs> like how you, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, so I do have a backup of the trailer. While I go rummage into the bin for it, please welcome my personal assistant. That will do a great job at pitching the game for you. Uh, talk about how cool I am in the story and how fun. That's why magazines were the superior medium. You can always skip in the ads in the magazine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I uh I I kind of I kind of miss the day of getting like a GameStop magazine in the mail, a Game Informer. I I don't think they even do that anymore. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer. I guess pretty much the best option you can do immersion. We well, you, okay. you should do Enki with immersion. Um, doing constant immersion 24/7 is very tiring, so it's never something I would ever suggest. I, not even just tired, it could be frustrating shit. I don't understand. <laughs> I still do physical game for magazine, but buddy gets it. Oh, that's cool. I just have never, like, spoken to a GameStop employee in the past, like, I don't know, five years. This looks like Town of Salem. And to learn. Graphically. Oh, if only it were that easy. I was always an awesome kid for the demo disc on OGX. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know, I. 
I, I don't know if demo discs were still around very much when I was a kid. I mean, I guess it was because you're talking about Xbox. But um, I don't, I, I don't have like any like cool demo disc memories. I just always hear stories. Medieval RimWorld, gotcha. Never played RimWorld. I just know it's a heavy moddable game. I'm a duolingual fig and proud. You fucking bird. Stupid bird. Oh, my little pony twerk! Yeah, this cool- this thing is so twerk core. This is twerk show, guys. Ratchet and Clank, and that's all I remember. I feel like I might have had one with Crash Bandicoot. I, I don't. I had such vague a memory. Paprika is best. I don't know any of the characters from this. I'll take your word for it. You'll tell me this game is really good. I I also always hear this is a genuinely good game. <laughs> Is, but they should add fatalities. Uh, it started as like a My Little Pony fighting game, and then Hasbro was like, we're suing you, and then, uh, fucking... I don't know, someone who does the art for the show is like, I'll just make you your own characters for it. And like, that's fucking... Lauren Moss, maybe? Is that her name? Which is kind of a cool story, honestly. This reminds me of, um... Uh, I almost said Terraria, but that's not exactly it. Uh, the farming Stardew Valley. Oh wait, he's making another- this is probably his, his, his other game the dude's making, because I know he's making another game that's just Stardew Valley, again. But it's like there's a city and magic, and I'm seeing fucking magic right now. Friendship is magic. This might, this might be his other game. Star 2. I like Stardew Valley, but it's another game I heavily mod because I hate its art style. Uh, Core Keepers, Sunken Sea Update. It is Stardew too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know it was out. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that was the latest DLC for Core Keeper, the sandbox survival sim from Fireshine Games and Pugstorm. Uh, I think that was Lauren Foster helped them come up with the legally distinct designs. Okay, yeah, that's what I I knew it was someone on the team. Now we have even more twists and turns and trailers, so press enter to continue. Did you press it? I'm gonna go ahead and Zuki pressed it. No, but seriously, press it. <laughs> Dude. Man, I, there is, uh, so there was even more stuff in the armor chat when it came on. Um, I don't think I could show that. I think that's a bit too extreme. Uh, they needed to cool it with anti Semitic remarks. Let's just say that. It's pretty bad. Uh, did you hear Street Fighter 6 on a rollback netcode? I did hear that. I heard a lot of good things about Street Fighter 6. Um, surprise, you know, the Capcom has been doing pretty good lately. Their fighting game divisions have been pretty ass. Um, but it seems like they're finally catching up. Sorry, my eyes are no mods for me. I, my problem with Stardew, like, is literally just, like, the character portraits look so ugly. The, the original portraits he did, like, at the start, and some later variations look a lot better. But he tried to make it less anime and more, like, western Tumblr, and we all know that's ugly, so... <laughs> and then Fighting Cards actually has better netcode than most fighting games, I don't doubt it. Shame about Rune Factory 5. Yeah, dude, Rune Factory 5 sucks. Even, like, the original Japanese release had a lot of problems. But when they localized it over, instead of fixing those problems, they added, like, more uh, gay marriage options on both ends, which is fine, in theory, if it's just an option, but they changed so much fucking dialogue that your character, like, has to be bisexual. Um, and, like, flirts with people. Like, it's like, I don't want to flirt with this guy or this girl. You know what I mean? The, the Rune Factory 5 localization is fucking ass. And they still didn't fix the problems! It's still, it's fucking optimized as shit. Rune Factory is dead. They banked from the company and then they took it over where it's skeleton. Pretty much. It sucks. 
Poon Fact 35. Yeah, no, the, the the rewrites and the dialogue are really fucking bad. Our life depends on the whims of the weather. Our life is tied to this earth. The water we harvest, the plants we grow. <laughs> I cry. Yeah, we One point for Cyberpunk, I got Any turned down I, by a straight woman, and my disappointment was with storytelling. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, actually. From now on, our city will be a <laughs> Like, I, I don't care if, like, I think more options is good because it's like a self-insert game. Like, I, like a character, like, having the choice to be bi is completely fine. But it's the fact when it forces sexuality on you, it's like, this is a flaw. Like, you objectively made this worse, you know? I guess in the, the chat for the PC Gaming Show is bored. We must explore it. Yeah, I just saw another thing from when I could... We must find the tablets. Seeds of knowledge that bind all the elements together. I, 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 the unironically, <laughs> the most excited the chat was, was probably for the Pody thing. Hold on. Wait. Dudes were cooming. Man, <laughs> there's a lot of, there's still dooming. Prospector. The planet we almost lost, then found a reason to stay. Dude, how many? What? Why are we going to space? What is, is this? Like Elon Musk propaganda? Like this place, every other fucking game. But we've made progress. Learned the lay of the land. How to use Icarus to our advantage. This first chat message. Yeah. Friends at the UDA are offering up a slice. Whole new terrain. If you learn, build, and survive, maybe oh! <laughs> there's a future here. <laughs> is it pro space of heaven? It is horror, though. I don't know. Some dudes are like, man, I want to, you know, fucking kill and kill an eldritch monster, and that rules. Those dudes are cool as fuck. There is literally almost probably on Netflix. Is there? Is there like a documentary? I watched yeah, Iron Man 2 the other day. Yeah, I have a rough life. Um, he wasn't mad. I forgot fact, about that. Some of the most popular genres today started as PC gaming mods. Right now, modders Sean FMP1 Snelling and Corey Lado are making something incredibly no special water in, here. in the form of an ambitious <laughs> mod for Half-Life Alex. It's called Levitation. It's an original four to five hour campaign that builds on Valve's original VR game, Half-Life Alex. With Alex searching for a pair of rebels gone rogue, they've discovered a strange floating. I need to play Half Life Alex at some point. It, I have I have a VR setup, obviously, because we use it for um. Let's go back to uh, the Sonic streams, right? And, Alex with this and I have the the because I bought the Valve nunchucks like long past time ago. Alex, according to this old resistance map, there's a control room somewhere outside the building you're in. Sorry if that's vague. The there's Iron Man. Then we all I saw was Shield. <laughs> Learn to love the planet we live in. Space will not come to you. Our planet's beautiful. Uh, streams so bad they're falling back on the mod cycles. <laughs> Dude, I again it didn't have to be this long. Like there there, there were good things here, and I. Uh, but like there, there's so much, and so much of it is the same. Is the problem right? Because it's like I don't even think like. Anywhere near the majority of these games looked bad, but I feel like I've seen all of them before in the same show. And some of them I have. Some of them are, are from the other shows. <laughs> like this, I, you know what? This might this this might be that. Like I keep saying, Devolver is the worst, but again, Devolver was quick, right? Like it was over with. Like I I I, I just want I want this one to end, which is kind of worse. You're gonna like cut an hour, yeah. Cause it's like even though there were, there was stuff I liked here, it's like so poorly paced. I mean, you could tell like half the time I'm like looking over, I'm either reading chat, I'm looking at my screen or Twitter to like have something to talk about. <laughs> and on some level, it's kind of unfair to the stuff they're showing, cause it's like I feel like they kind of bored me out of caring. 
Uh, Devolver was concentrated bad. This one is diluted mediocre. Yeah, I guess it's pick your poison. Alex, I'm detecting an incredibly large energy signature up ahead. Like, why are you showing me a play? Like, th this, I, this is fine. This is cool. But why am I watching a playthrough for a mod? Like, I, I just, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to play all of Half Life again. I want to play all of Half Life, period. It's him! It's the man in the suit! G what would you call that? G Man? Too much padding at these modern shows. I would, it's not just mo a modern problem. There's always been too much padding. Um, I, I feel like they actually cut back on the padding sometimes, but like this show definitely did it. There's a lot of bloat. <laughs> Gay man. Yeah. Man, I I'm, I'm I'm like my I'm mentally drained. I found that really funny. <laughs> G spot man. Uh, day one of Half-Life Alex Rider's DMC pews are for Bridgegate. Is that true? Oh, you can confirm that. I'd love to know, but I, I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, to show how VR games can be modded to actual high degree, like non-PC games, maybe. I guess that could be fair, but I wouldn't. Like, there, there was nothing that would make me think you couldn't do that with VR. Because VR mostly affects, like, like they're still built in the same type of, like, engines, worlds. Um, like, the VR mechanics aren't changed, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe you're right. <laughs> That's a better reason I could think of. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so confirmed for Xbox, PC, no Switch or PlayStation yet. Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Modem, Persona 5 Portable, we have some thoughts about that. Uh, Nate still says the games are headed to the Switch and probably PlayStation 2, so maybe it's just a time deal or something. Okay. I mean, again, PC is the main thing I would care about, but uh, again, I would want native PC. Um... Instead of relying on Game Pass, even again, even though it's probably gonna be ripped out of Game Pass on the seas at some point. Uh, sent Sonic info? Sure. Oh, yeah, we already talked about all of this. Yeah, no, non player characters in the demo. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about that and like the blurry footage from the event. <laughs> I just say what they're choosing. They chose portable, which fucking sucks. Um, Cause yeah, there's cool content in portable, but it's like, I want Fez. I want like the open, the open, I was open world, but the open areas, you know, going around the town and stuff. That's cozy. I like that. Probably one of my favorite parts about Persona. Uh, they forgot they were doing conference. They just started playing out. <laughs> I get the vibe Canadian. Maybe. But I, I can you? <laughs> I can't imagine people here being like, guys, we need to fill time. You filled too much time. Uh, that's probably gonna uh, get butt hurt. The Alice won't let her uh, make Nano Trans. The thing is, so the Persona 4 port is obviously already on PC and out. I, you know, I again, I, I don't want to tell people freaking out that like they shouldn't at all because it's still possible. Um, but the fact that she clarified that it's just for like. Uh, making sure the translation is the same and like nothing changed between the um, what they're porting from and like changing the buttons and shit. Because um, again, someone else mentioned she worked on uh, Shimigami Tensei 5 or something. Or another Shimigami Tensei game as just like the like teacher of how to use the programs. So there's a chance it could be fine, but like I, 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 I genuinely, 
I, I, I hate this woman. I hate her. I hate the localizers. Um, so I would definitely say not say not to complain. Um, because the more their names out there and the more their history is known, the better. I should have to five. The title was localization engineer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm gonna localize. Man, again, it's cool. It's well, folks. This Alex is cool. Is the end. We've learned a lot today. What is it about ourselves? About computers. I've about learned too much. Engineered space marines, and with so many games on the way, there has truly never been a better time to be part of the PC gaming community. See, no, well, that's 100% agree. Two hours, we saw games it's like from offensive. developers all over the world, and we wanted to thank everyone yeah. who tuned in. Sorry, you guys who wanted to watch a conference. We just talked about current events. Us, and of course, <laughs> all of the partners for their Should have made a better show. Gaming show to light. Indeed, remember to tip your service. Wait, was that their big the ending? Is that no? That was a, a, a mod. That was a mod that we watched for Alex. Anywhere you can find one, let me know. Was that their big ending? A fucking mod? You again for joining us at this year's PC gaming show. It's something I look forward to every year, and we're thrilled. You, you don't have no big thing. You just time. bye bye. bye. <laughs> you even end on an actual game. <laughs> you end on a mod. This is the official PC Gaming Show 2022 pre-show. It's the live show before the uh, the pre-recorded show. F go to the oh, these are, these, these are just bloopers. I got worried. I thought he was saying that was the pre-show. It was like, I can't do it, man. I can't go again. I'm not strong enough, man. Wow, that was bad. Oh, man. Look at the... Look at that. Oh, I, I could show chat now. I feel like I'll be safe. Just look at these L's, man. It's a storm. Save TF2. Why was TF2 on the fucking header? There is... <laughs> I feel... I feel... I feel lied to. I didn't care about TF2 that much. That was certainly the worst. I will say Devolver was actually bad. Let's try this again. Something. Hello, Amara. Uh, welcome to the stream. Or goodbye. <laughs> um, I, I... Like, Devolver was probably just the worst concentrated... Like, there was nothing, and things annoyed me. But this was so boring. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, there, there again, there were a few things, and I fucking jinxed it. The first thing I liked, and I was like, oh, this is a good start. Good things, to, and nothing else happened. <laughs> Very minimally. Like, wow, this, this is bottom. I, I got to... A fucking future game showcase should not be. I mean, Xbox. Uh, I, I think Xbox might. I, I don't know. I'm more. I, I personally care for the stuff we got at the end of Xbox. So I want to say Xbox is the best, even though the show, again, was too padded out. But like, Xbox and future games weren't that good. But they were fucking so far beyond the other things that we've seen so far. It's it's up to Capcom. <laughs> Capcom has to have if I don't who will moments, or it's this is awful. <laughs> wow, Todd's yeah, Todd's sweet little lies. <laughs> oh man, the best thing was the discussion about localizers. To be honest, yeah, I mean that's. That's like my usual stream. Like that's just like what would usually happen if I was just streaming some game. Uh, made the whole thing so much better. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Like usually when I just play games on stream, we just talk about current shit or um, the series, depending on how far we into the, into the game, what's going on. Kagura shows off Resident Evil Four and Promise Code Veronica tomorrow. <sighs> Wait, they promised Code Veronica? Are you are you lying to me? Are you fucking ribbing my jib? Because I don't want I I didn't want Resident Evil 4 to get remade. I wanted a Code Veronica remake because it fucking needs it. Oh, the Capcom thing already leaked. I'm almost certainly leaked. okay. <laughs> Wait, don't don't spoil me. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. 
Let's see. All right. Well, anyway, let's let's clarify this. When's the event tomorrow? 5 p.m. So that's later than I usually stream. Usually I stream at 4. 5 p.m. my time. I stream Central. Right now it's 4.30 for me to clarify. Um, 5 tomorrow is Capcom, and that's our last showcase. Um, that's it. So <laughs> if things don't get at least mediocre, I don't know. Is it as bad as E3 was last year? I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> they did confirm Sunbreak news at 6. A Mega Man 12 will be announced. I wouldn't mind a Mega Man. Like, I, I mean, I know you're doing it to be a like, hee-hee funny. But, like, I just really want X9 except for X. Or a Battle Network, because I like Battle Network. But I wouldn't be upset if there was a new classic Mega Man game. Someone said Legends. Like, I don't know. I don't know if Capcom's that good yet. I don't know if they're that deep in a redemption arc, but yeah, Legends would excite me too. Marvel vs. Capcom collection? That would be sick. Again, I, I, I think Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's fun to watch. I mean, there's so much dog shit about it. Mechanically, it's really cool, though. Um, I would love another MVC that used that engine as a base, personally. I wish we saw Space Marine 2 gameplay. Is that the Warhammer again? Yeah, I guess we've only seen a CG trailer so far. So, like, nothing. Why was E3 canceled this year? Um, Because <laughs> cause there were no games. And Jeff Jeff, Jeff was like, no, we're going to bring the games. And then he didn't. So. Um, but E3 is coming back next year. The big thing with E3 is it's, like, a big event. Um, and it's important for these companies. I don't know, as, like, a showcase. And, like, it makes them a lot of money event-wise, I think. Um, so that's another reason. Um, and that's coming back next year because it was canceled because of the coof. But by the time it happened, no one cared about the coof because new current thing took over. Whew. <laughs> the real focus lost his realm. Man, I, I always say I, I like Jeff because I think he genuinely cares about games. But man, he, he fucking dropped the ball this year. <sighs> dropped the fucking ball. I hope Azora's Wrath gets a Porter Remaster. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, when they replay trailers in the PC show when they had nothing but space travel games. Yeah, dude, like, I, again, they should have sizzle re reeled things or, like, not shown trailers twice. If you cut this down an hour, it would have been, like, it would have been good, but, like, it might have not been the worst because it wouldn't have been so fucking long. Like, it was just awfully paced. <laughs> bring my, bring dog Capcom can do a lot of cool things tomorrow. I don't think they will, but it's, like, it can be a good showing. We'll see. Um, again, since Infinite did so poorly, got pulled off digital stores. Oh, yeah, that did happen. Well, it's unconfirmed Disney reportedly took the Marvel license off Capcom because it did so bad. That's fucked up, especially because it's like Disney's fault. Um, Capcom will announce the first NFT game tomorrow. Uh, you say, yeah, we're not dealing with Konami. <laughs> we're not dealing with Konami. All right. I want to go, I, I had fun, like, again, it's fun to hang out, it's fun to talk, there were some things that happened, but, like, this show was the first one that I was, like, genuinely, like, bored, because, again, fucking, I thought Devolver was the worst, and Summer, Summer's Games was bad, but, like, they were, they, they were bad enough that I was, like, I feel like I, it was entertaining, right, we were just, just fucking, like, oh, my god, and this, I was, like, wishing for death, <laughs> um, let me just read any messages. Uh, imagine going to AX in California. Anime Expo? Yeah, that I I liked the um like the merch rooms and stuff at Anime Expo, but being in Cali sucks. Fuck Cali. Uh, uh to be to the credit, Konami has done fairly well with Master Joel so far. I have heard that. I have heard that. Did I miss the video games? You genuinely did not miss the video. There were no video games. <laughs> There were no games. <laughs> we just sat here in silence and talked about localizing. That's it. That was the show. <laughs> 30 minutes of Monster Hunter footage. I do love me some Monster Hunter, but it's not going to be a new game, so probably won't care. Uh, like I said, Infinite was supposed to get a year uh, year two of DLC. That got canned. Shame, because I would have liked to see some of them, especially Moon Knight and Star-Lord. Yeah, again, uh, Infinite gameplay-wise, pretty cool. Um, and I like some of the characters they chose. Like, seeing Venom again is pretty fucking cool. <sighs> How 
how else get anyone interested in video games video games yeah okay okay all right yeah i'm winding down i was tired from like the, the moment i got in here um i have to fix my camera i didn't realize how high up it was whoops um but anyway yeah i hope you had fun at least experiencing it together um you can find me on twitter i post things on the internet uh tumblr ask you questions patreon will support me all that good shit um i will be back tomorrow with capcom as we've been discussing then of course normal stream schedule will return after the fact uh, i might miss a stream though after just coming tired out from all this um i don't go to conventions anymore because western side of the industry has become honestly co uh, conventions kind of suck now uh the past few people i've talked to went to conventions didn't like them um I keep going on, but like one thing I really dislike about conventions when I used to go, it used to be like really like cozy. Nowadays, it's like you take a picture with someone. They're like, "Oh, this is my Instagram, and I'm a model, and can you tag me and do this." And it's like everything feels so. I don't say ind industrialized isn't the word, but I think you know what I mean. Like everything feels fake. Or, I don't know. Smaller cons only. Yeah. Okay. All right. For real. Goodbye. Have fun tomorrow capcom goodbye